Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. Today is Sunday, May 1st, and it's currently 4.22 p.m. Guys, it's May. This is my first video that I'm recording in May. It's sadly not the first video I'm posting in. Wait, did I post a video today? No, I didn't. This is my first video that I'm recording in May and my first video that I'm going to be posting in May. So happy May. And I wanted to do a quick, quick video on what you would need if you are new to the reborn community or you're getting back into the reborn community. What you would need for your babies. And you guys, you don't need a lot of stuff for your babies, honestly. When I first started off, all I had was like a few diapers, like one passy, and then a few clothes and I'll just like rotate it out but now that I am older and I have way more babies now I do have a lot more than what I actually need like a lot of us do <laughs> it's hard to let stuff go but let me just show you guys the basics on what you would need when getting a reborn for the very first time like I said this video is not going to be long at all all right so I'm not going to put this in order I'm just going to show you guys it because I don't feel like putting it in order because I don't have to like stop the video and it put in order so we're just going to say the first item second item but they're not in any particular order first thing I will say are some diapers whatever size your baby is if you have a smaller baby definitely get newborn or size one diapers and if you have a bigger baby or like a medium sized baby definitely a size two or three and if you have a bigger baby you know four or five and six but I personally like getting just size 1 diapers because they fit on almost all of my babies. Like, even my really little ones like Zaire, who was Levi by Bonnie Brown, these fit him perfectly. Um, if you want like a snug fit, then of course go down a size. But I don't mind it being a little bit big because that way I can keep them on him for longer without having to like switch it out without it looking too old. So yeah, that's another way that I keep my diapers like preserved. Because if I use it like ones that are bigger, they usually last longer than the ones that are like a tight fit on the babies. They don't really last that long because it starts to look old looking. But yes, the first thing are diapers and I just have these Huggies little snugglers and they're like Winnie the Pooh print. I'm running low on these so I do have to get some more diapers. The next thing, and this is totally optional, is just a hairbrush and a comb and you can get this at the dollar, the dollar Tree. I got this at Dollar Tree for only a dollar, but you guys know they raise their prices. But this still might be a dollar and six cents. I'm not sure. But um, if they have hair, if they don't have hair, then that is okay because you would not need this. But if they do, a little dollar comb and brush set will be fine. It won't hurt their hair. It won't rip it out. They won't have hair loss due to it or anything like that. As long as you're not just excessively combing or brushing their hair. The next thing, <laughs> I just grabbed whatever. <laughs> But the next thing is some clothes. Clothes, I want to say, is the most important. But I'm not saying you have to go out and buy, like, 50 outfits. Honestly, if you get, like, oops. If you get four outfit sets, so, like, four onesies, four pants, that will last you a while because you can just do different, like, you can rotate them. Like, you can have this onesie with a different pair of pants one day, then the same onesie with another pair of pants, you know. So you can just keep rotating it, but onesies and pants are definitely key. And that's pretty much all you need, to be honest. It's just some outfits, but um, the other stuff is optional. Next up, we have some blankets, and you can get little receiving blankets. I believe Dollar Tree has some. If not, you can find these at Walmart, like a pack and they don't cost that much. You don't necessarily need blankets, but I like having them, um, especially to send home babies when I do sell them, but you don't necessarily need blankets because your babies don't get cold, but they're good for role playing, um, definitely good for role playing. But yeah, just some blankets. Like I have these receiving ones, but I also have like a thick blanket, a muslin blanket. I just have different variations of blankets, but you can always just get whatever blanket you want, or you can even use one of your blankets for the babies we're moving down to our last couple of items next we have some passies and again this isn't really essentials because some babies don't have a magnet in their mouth and sometimes people don't know how to do the magnet or put them on sometimes people just don't feel comfortable using them but 
they're they are a great prop they're a great prop to use for pictures um having the past you know next to the baby i had a few babies that didn't have magnets and i'll still like get them pacifiers just so i can just take a photo with it but um yeah pacifiers again are optional you don't really necessarily need them especially if your baby does not have a magnet um if your baby has an open mouth then yeah go ahead but if your baby doesn't have a magnet they are kind of pointless unless you're going to use them for a prop so passy and then this one just happened to come with a passy clip so you can also have that as well next we have some socks we have some cute little sockies again you don't really need socks but i like to role play with my babies and so i like to have a lot of these items for them um and then like sometimes i just feel bad like if it's cold and then they don't have anything on their feet i just feel bad i don't know it's probably just me but um i like to have socks on my baby's feet most of the time when it's cold if it's hot you don't really need them um but yes socks are definitely kind of an essential as well as like the clothes i feel like the socks and the clothes yeah and then as well um when i showed you guys the clothes I, the reason why i didn't bring out a sleeper is because i personally i have sleepers for my babies but you guys don't hardly ever see them my main purpose for sleepers is role play videos um i just don't like putting sleepers on my babies unless i'm doing a role play video i don't hardly put them on them for fun i just like outfits and clothing on them but socks and now the very last item sippy cup yes i found javen's sippy cup after i shipped them out i know but we have this sippy cup here and of course a bottle i just packed everything up and so i packed the bottle and which is why i'm holding the sippy cup so yeah i packed the sippy cup i would have had a bottle right here if i didn't pack it. i would have had the sippy cup in a bottle of course sippy cup if you're expecting a toddler and of course a bottle if you are expecting a little baby and again you can get a bottle from dollar tree so all of these items are very inexpensive especially if you go and not get like you know the most expensive expensive items you know so if you go to like the dollar tree goodwill any thrift store secondhand store buy anything secondhand these items are very very cheap so that technically was it for my for my little essentials are what you should get when you are expecting a reborn but here are a few other things that i didn't originally have but they are good to have so we just said the sippy cup in the bottle and then a bib again only for role playing purposes i have never used a bib unless it was for role playing purposes so um this is not essential at all but if you want to role play with your baby then a bib will help because it'll look more realistic when you're feeding a baby because most people feed babies with bibs on so they don't make a mess so a bib some shoes of course optional definitely optional i love baby shoes so i did have a lot of baby shoes early on in my collecting days just because i love baby shoes but they're not essential and you don't necessarily have to have them plus for little babies the baby shoes don't fit them anyways they are always too big and slip off the feet and they hardly never ever fit the little baby's feet anyways so um yes they're cute for pictures but they don't really stay on and they're always too big but cute little shoes yes that's a plus as well and now the last two items hat and then you know a headband or a bow this one is a bow um if you have a bald baby hats are perfect for them now i would say that hats are essentials because i had a lot of bald babies and i just i like bald babies so that's why i had a lot but i always loved putting hats on them sometimes i wouldn't but 90 percent of the time i would put a hat on a baby and then for my girls i would always or yes i would say always put a headband on my baby's hair or a bow if they have like a lot of hair to clip the bow onto but if not i would do the headband so i would kind of say these are essentials but again you don't have to have that especially if your babies don't have any hair and they're a girl you don't really need it but i know a lot of people like to put hats on bar baby boys and even ball baby girls and then headbands on bar baby girls that is it for this video everyone and 
I want you all to comment down below. I'm holding this like weird. <laughs> I want everyone to comment down below their three essential items that like you think that new reborn moms should have. Like what do you think three items that new reborn moms should have? Leave them down below. My top three would definitely be clothes for number one. For number two, I'll say diapers. And number three, I'll say basically any accessory that they want, like whether that's passies hats or headbands or anything like that i say the third one is like accessories um but definitely clothes for the first one and diapers for the second one not necessarily diapers though because like i said i do keep my babies in the diapers they're in for a long time so i have to say my second one i switch that diapers out with blankets so my first one are my first one is clothes my second one is blankets and my third one is like an accessory like passies hats or headbands but let me know what you think reborn new reborn parents should have for their babies top three items though all right guys thank you so so much for watching i am on instagram at my underscore reborns if you guys want to give me a follow over there go ahead and do so i am on reborns.com selling babies not for long though but if you're interested in any of them let me know my reborns.com name is melanated babies and i do have a membership if anyone is interesting interested in joining everything that i stated is linked in the description below so all you have to do is look at the description and i have clickable links there so you don't have to search anything up all right that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and there go the pacifiers if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up comment down below anything you want in the comments including video requests and if you're not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button also ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when i post another video bye